Hi, welcome to another 15 minutes of tangling. So yesterday we were drawing the hatching here on this variation of well, and we're going to go ahead and pick up filling in that hatching right on this corner here. much later in the evening than I typically tangle. The sun is almost setting behind me. There's a few buildings in the way, <laughs> but it's there. Every once in a while its rays peek right through the bushes and trees. So the birds are out chirping and given it's the weekend, there's quite a bit of activity in my neighborhood. However, many folks have gone home, so it's thankfully a little bit more restrained. All right, hatching is done. So. For our first round of shading, along the edges of these fan shapes, I'm going to be adding graphite. It has been such a relaxing Saturday. I've really been able to sort of take it slow today, which has been very nice. It's starting to get warmer here. We're even supposed to get into like the upper 80s by the end of this coming week. And given all of the rain we've been having, I'm interested to see how humid it's going to be. But thankfully, that's what we have air conditioners for. Taking care of that heat and humidity. I did a little bit of looking into what other scenic locations there are near me, maybe taking some weekend trips over the summertime. And there is the, the Shenandoah um, Trail, Shenandoah, there's a particular drive that you can do, a scenic drive in, um, and usually you have to pay a, a significant amount of money, but I found that there are certain days throughout the year that you can go for, for free. So I have marked on my calendar the weekend of June 20th, or that exact day. I'll be heading out to the scenic drive in the Shenandoah Mountains. I'm really excited about that. It's always nice to have lovely things to look forward to. Locally, I found some private gardens um, that looked quite lovely, so I'm gonna have to find a way, see how I can get access to those, just for a tour, just for a walk around. I absolutely love visiting gardens, so we will see what we can make happen. All right, let's add some highlighting to these guys. So right kind of along the inside of these fan shapes, I'm gonna add a bit of white charcoal. Maybe look like there's a bit of a shine there, right before they curve off into the shadow. Again, I'm going to leave those orbs um, uncolored for now. I think I'm going to put some gold in there later, so 
I'll just leave them blank like I have for, for many of the orbs and many of these patterns. I'm going to have to make sure to sharpen this white charcoal pencil. It's getting a little dull. All right, let's go ahead and blend that in a little bit. I think this might be nice to add a little bit of white jelly roll at one point, make that shine a little bit more apparent, a little bit more sleek. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I might just go ahead with the jelly roll right now. Add just a few little bits of shine here and there, just little bits. There's one. I really like the, I like adding shine with the right white jelly roll. I do it with a lot of my drawings, um, Zentangles and Mandalas alike. Just a quick way to add a little bit of depth, a little bit of um, texture even, making it look like it's nice and sleek and shiny. All right, so let's go ahead and shade and highlight the ribbon shape itself. And we've got a plane flying overhead. All the bird chirps. I don't know if it's just a bit, that it's a bit darker outside or that this pattern just feels a little, a little darker to me. All the shading we just added. And there's all that black hatching as well. I bet that's part of it too. I find I really don't like the one one thing I don't like about the the graphite shading with graphite is sometimes you get that shine from the graphite. I think that's why at times I prefer the Copic markers. You don't get that same shine. All right. And then we'll add our our line right down the middle. Hopefully white charcoal behaves, even though it's not completely sharp. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and blend that in a little. Smooth it out. It's amazing how one line of white charcoal can add such an effect. So much more depth. All right, let's go ahead and put our jelly roll line in. looking pretty good. So there we have it, two different variations of the pattern well. All right, so I was thinking about what pattern I would like to do next. And I think I'm gonna work right here. And I would like to do the pattern Shattuck. And I'm gonna alternate with the black and the brown 
um, each going a different direction. And I'm going to turn the page all the way around and start from right here. I'm just going to start, I usually start, there we go, that'll be our first section. And then draw in my auras. I love these patterns that have a lot of repetition. You can really get into the rhythm of it. Really take it slow and relax. All right. So you'll have a, a bit of switching between black and brown. I'm gonna go from right here. Oh, those birds are just chirping away. I absolutely love it. I'm at a picnic table um, in a courtyard by the a local church. Because it was so much later, I didn't want to go too far from home. I had visited the local library on the way, <clears throat> which has been closed, and I found that starting on May 26th, which is my birthday, I'm so excited, um, they're going to be having curbside um, available, so it's just nice to see that I know that hmm, we have to be very thoughtful about reopening and interacting with one another again, <clears throat> but it's nice to see that People are taking some precautions and finding safe, hopefully safe ways to reopen so we can enjoy some of the things that we used to enjoy and maybe have a little bit more interaction with one another so long as it's in a, in a healthy and thoughtful way. I was also, I, um, so after living in St. Louis for so long, my favorite place, not shocking, um, was the Missouri Botanical Gardens in St. Louis. Um, and I heard on their Instagram account that they are finding safe, a safe way to reopen as well. And they're being, you know, really thoughtful about it, but it's nice to see that you know, people will be able to enjoy the gardens once more. I know for me, obviously, given this practice, getting out into green space, seeing the beauties of nature has been really helpful in, in making it through this time. I'm really enjoying this shaddock pattern and the alternating the colors. I quite like it. All right. I mean, the gardens have put out virtual tours. It's been really neat to see virtual tours of my favorite places. So um, Forest Park in St. Louis and Central Park in New York and Dallas. I believe it's Arboretums and Botanical Gardens. Not, I can't remember the official name. But they've all been putting out virtual tours. Um, and that's been lovely to see, but of course it doesn't compare with going there yourself. There's just a, a very gentle breeze. 
I mean, it's hardly even a breeze, but it's so, it feels so good. It's nice and a little bit cooler. It's nice to get out before summer is truly in full swing. I have no mosquitoes bug bugging me. <laughs> so that's really nice to be outside without that. All right, so that's our 15 minutes of tangling today. And thank you so much for joining me on this journey. And I hope to see you again tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.